Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful attacking game for you played by Russian chess grandmaster Alexander Morozevich. His opponent is Yevgeny Alexeyev and the game was played at Russia Team Championship 2004. Morozevich had white pieces and he started with e4, c5 by Alexeyev, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, knight c6, f3, e5, knight b3, bishop e7, bishop e3, bishop e6, and queen e2. An interesting move, instead of this usual queen d2, we see queen e2. The idea is that later white is not blocking the rook's path and at any moment white can place the knight on c5 square, trying to exchange with his light square bishop. Black castles king side and white castles queen side. Knight a5 and now we see that knight c5 idea. Bishop c4, black is not allowing white to capture on e6 and weaken his king side. Queen e1, queen c7, knight b3, knight takes b3, a takes b3, bishop e6 and once there is a relative piece on the queen side, Morozevich starts an advancement on the king side. g4, rook c8, g5, knight d7, king b1, a prophylactic move. It's always very useful to place the king on b1 square when you are castling queen side. a6, both players have castled on opposite sides and now let's see who will be faster to target his opponent's king. h4 and queen c6. Well, on the surface this looks interesting. Blake is opening up this a5 d8 diagonal and is planning to bring the bishop on a5 square and put pressure on c3 square. But it turns out that actually this queen c6 is losing precious time, which gives white a chance to gain advantage. We see rook h2. Another prophylactic move, white is overprotecting the pawn on c2 square. b5, h5. Bishop d8, g6. Already white pawns are starting to disturb black king. Bishop a5. Well, instead of playing bishop a5, knight f6 would have been better if queen g3 than b4. Though, again, white has a very dangerous attack. But instead, after g6, we see bishop a5. And now Morozevich plays queen h4, allowing bishop takes c3. But instead of recapturing on c3, Morozevich plays just a mind blowing move. He played h6. Right now the threat is g takes h7 and then open up the h file and checkmate black king. Look at this powerful pawns on the 6th rank. f takes g6, h takes g7, h5 blocking the queen's path, here comes queen g5. King takes g7 at the same time protecting the pawn on g6 and only now we see b takes c3. Bishop f7. And now let's see how is Morozevich going to finish up his opponent. We first see queen h6 check, king g8, and now you can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? He played rook takes h5, trying to rip open black king. Right now the threat is checkmate in one. We see g takes h5, and another mind blowing move, bishop takes b5. White is moving away the bishop from the first rank with a tempo opening up the rook's path. Actually, according to the engine, bishop h3 is mating faster, but this bishop takes b5 of course looks more beautiful and impressive. We see a takes b5, rook g1 check, bishop g6, queen takes g6 check, king f8, Queen g8 check and black resigned. Well, if king e7, then rook g7 check and then black king is getting checkmated. What a game. A very impressive attack, I think. Especially I liked this bishop b5 sacrifice. If you enjoyed this brilliant attack, don't forget to give that thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.